Hello, welcome to our channel Aditya 11 Triple T. Today we are here with a new motherboard that is KALGU LA4494 V. Now the problem of this particular motherboard is that when we connect the DC power supply, so no display comes. It takes a few ampere, but there is no display on the uh, screen. So we are going to solve this problem, and we will see what we are going to do. So we have switched on the board and see. You can see it is taking 0.6668 ampere. But the display is not coming on the board so this is the problem now what we are going to do is we are going to first check the token ic because in such type of motherboard there is a lot of problem of token ic so we are going to remove uh, the to token cover first and check whether uh, it is black or it is normal or it is not burned and accordingly we will do the solution so we are removing the token ic uh, you can see over here it is a bit burned kind of uh, problem so this indicates that token ic is gone now we are going to replace it with the four capacitors uh, like an old motherboard it was there token is basically a bunch of capacitors which has been inside uh, integrated together and there is a lot of failure of this particular capacitor so we are going to replace this uh, capacitor and we are going to see what is uh, how can we do the solution on that so we are just opening the token capacitors and let's see the solution after replacement so we are removing the token capacitor over here and we are cleaning the portion and we will be removing it with the help of iron So we have removed the token IC, now we will be placing the 4 capacitors over here uh, and let's see what will be going to happen after that. Okay, now this is the 4 capacitor which we are going to place it over here and uh, see the results, placing it over here. So we are placing it over here uh, and you should take care of negative and positive line according to that you should place the capacitor please check the line before placing the capacitor if you place the wrong side it will result into a burst of the capacitor so it is very necessary part to check the line of positive and negative of a polarized capacitor because this is a polarized capacitor you have to take care of that and uh, after replacing it we will see the results over the ampere and the display on the screen is there or not and we will be rectifying whether the issue was of this only capacitor or was there something else 
so we are done with the replacement part over here and we are going to check the continuity of the ground and uh, we will be checking up whether there is no shorting or so like that so we are checking it over here and it's all ok so we will be placing back the CPU and just checking whether the display is out or not placing the CPU out here placing the RAM now we will be placing up the screen also to check the display now we are just connecting the supply PSU unit and triggering up again let's see whether the display is coming or not or there is some other problem now you can see the display is out and the problem has been resolved so there was the problem of token IC basically this model has a major failure of this IC so it has been replaced and the job is done and you can see the display out there so this was all about the board so keep on watching our channel at the level triple hope you like this channel if you like hit subscribe button like share and comment thanks a lot